Christ is risen. He is risen indeed. Alleluia. Well, keep that spirit because we're going to say that a bunch more, especially during the sermon. Welcome. Thank you so much for being with us here on this most blessed Easter morning. Um, if you are a visitor, we would ask that you go ahead and just take a quick look at the back of the yellow uh, sheet, which is at the, I guess, uh, there's two yellow sheets, the, the smaller of the two, that's our communion, communion statement. So we will be celebrating this, this wonderful feast this morning. So if you just take a look at that sometime and, and sign it. Other than that, let's go ahead and greet each other in the peace of the Lord. We make our beginning in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Beloved in the Lord, let us draw near with a true heart, and confess our sins unto God our Father, beseeching Him in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ to grant us forgiveness. Our help is in the name of the Lord, who made heaven and earth. I said, I will confess my transgressions unto the Lord, and you forgave the iniquity of my sin. Almighty God, our Maker and Redeemer, we poor sinners confess unto you that we are by nature sinful and unclean, and that we have sinned against you by thought, word, and deed. Wherefore, we flee for refuge to, thy, to your infinite mercy, seeking and imploring your uh, grace for the sake of our Lord Jesus Christ. O most merciful God, who has given your only begotten Son to die for us, have mercy upon us, and for his sake grant us remission of all our sins. And by your Holy Spirit, Increase in us true knowledge of you and of your will and true obedience to your word to the end that by your grace we may come to everlasting life through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Upon this your confession, I by virtue of my office as a called and ordained servant of the word announce the grace of God unto all of you. And, and in the stead and by the command of my Lord Jesus Christ, I forgive you all of your sins in the name of the Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. Horse and in his riders he has thrown into the sea. The Lord is my strength and my song, and has become my salvation. Your right hand, O Lord, glorious in power. Your right hand, O Lord, shatters the enemy. You have led in your steadfast love the people whom you have redeemed and have guided them by your strength to your holy abode. You will bring them in and plant them on your own mountain, the place, O Lord, where you have made for your abode. The sanctuary, O Lord, which your hands have established. The Lord will reign forever to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. I will sing to the Lord, for he has triumphed gloriously. The horse and his rider he has thrown into the sea. In peace, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace from above and for our salvation, let us pray to the Lord. For the peace of the whole world, for the well-being of the church of God, 
and for the unity of all, let us pray to the Lord. For this holy house and for all who offer here their worship and praise, let us pray to the Lord. Help, save, comfort, and defend us, gracious Lord. The Lord be with you. And also with you. Let us pray. Almighty God the Father, through your only begotten Son, Jesus Christ, you have overcome death and opened the gate of everlasting life to us. Grant that we who celebrate with the joy uh, with joy the day of our Lord's resurrection may be raised from, from the death of sin by your life giving spirit. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Please be seated. The Old Testament reading this morning is from Isaiah 23. On this mountain, the Lord of hosts will make for all peoples a feast of rich food, a feast of well-aged wine, a rich food full of marrow, of aged wine well refined. And he will swallow up on this mountain the covering that is cast over all peoples, the veil that is spread over all nations. He will swallow up death forever, and the Lord God will wipe away tears from all faces and the reproach, reproach, reproach of his people he will take away from all the earth. For the Lord has spoken. It will be said on that day, Behold, this is our God. We have waited for him that he might save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. Let us be glad and rejoice in his salvation. 
This is the word of the Lord. The gradual is from Matthew, Hebrews, and Psalms. Christ has risen from the dead. God the Father has crowned him with glory and honor. He has given him dominion over the works of his hands. He has put all things under his feet. The epistle is from 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Now I will remind you, brothers, of the gospel I have preached to you and what you receive. In which you stand, word I preach to you, by, by which you are saved, if you hold fast to the words I preach to you, unless you believe in vain. For I delivered you of the first importance, what I also received, that Christ died for our sins in accordance with the scriptures, that he was buried that he was raised on the third day in accordance with the scriptures, and that he appeared to Cephas and then to the twelve. He then appeared to more than 500 brothers at one time, most of whom are still alive, though some have fallen asleep. Then he appeared to James and then to all the apostles. Last of all, as to one untimely born, he uh, he appeared also to me, for I am the least of the apostles, unworthy to be called an apostle, because I persecuted the church of God. But by the grace of God, I am what I am, and his grace towards me is not in vain. On the contrary, I worked harder than any of them, though it was not I, but the grace of God that was in me. Whether then it was I or they, so we preach and so you believe. This is the word of the Lord. Thank Thanks be to God. God.
the Holy Gospel according to St. Mark, the 16th chapter. Glory to Thee, O Lord. When the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary the mother of James and Salome brought slice, spices so that, they might, so that they might go and anoint him. And very early on the first day of the week, when the sun had risen, they went to the tomb. And they were, they were saying to one another, Who will roll away the stone for us from the entrance of the tomb? And looking up, they saw that the stone had been rolled back. It was very large. And entering the tomb, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, dressed in a white robe. And they were alarmed. And he said to them, Do not be alarmed. You seek Jesus of Nazareth who was crucified. He has risen. He is not here. See the place where they laid him, but go. Tell his disciples and Peter that he is going before you to Galilee. There you will see him, just as he told you. And they went out and fled from the tomb, for trembling and astonishment had seized them. And they said nothing to anyone, for they were afraid. This is the gospel of the Lord. Praise be to Thee, O Christ. We confess our common Christian faith in the words of the Nicene Creed. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible, and in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of His Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down.